evening. Good evening, Carlos. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Abel. Good evening, ladies. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How's it going? Is it fine? Are you ready? Very fine. So, uh, yeah, okay. So we're going to start, okay. We're going to wait a little bit for the rest, okay? Like, let us make a couple of minutes so that we can uh, have more participants in the class. Well, uh, I think today was a, a really, a real nice day, right? Uh, I hope you have had a great time today. How was your day, Carlos? How was your day? Uh, how was your day, Oved? How was your day, uh, uh, ladies? I think it's great. It was great. Yeah. Okay, so relaxed. Relaxed. You were relaxed. That's that's quite good. So for me, it was kind of tiny, but it was a great time. I have Juan Carlos there. Hello, Juan Carlos. Hello, Juan Carlos. How's it going? Good. Okay. Good evening, Carlos. Juan Carlos, good evening. Carlos Josue, Obed. So it's, if you can listen to me clearly, do me a favor to activate your camera, please. Uh, I would really appreciate that. Let's get accustomed to activating our camera. It would be really nice. Well, I have one, two, three, four participants. I think it would be uh, really nice if we start just right now. Okay, give me one second, please, because I'm trying to get something here. I'll show you here, I got it. Okay, people, we're going to continue talking about uh, giving directions in English. Yesterday we started with, today we're going to talk a little bit about something else, but we're going to, somehow we're going to have some review about what's what we started yesterday. Now I have different expressions on here in English on how to provide directions or to give uh, or to provide location of a place. And uh, I ha I have for example this one. Who who wants to read this one? Can you can you see perfectly there, people? To left. Turn left. What about this one? Next to. Next to. What about this one? Take the second left. 
left. This one. Take the second right. Take the second right. What about this vocabulary? Round about. Round about. Okay, what about this one? To like. Turn right. This one? Right. Go past. Go past. What about this? Go straight on. Go straight on. This one? Opposite. Opposite. That's the opposite, right? This one? Traffic traffic light. The traffic lights. Okay, now if I want, if you see this uh, image, what what is the what is the vocabulary that belongs to this? Turn left. Turn left. Let's see. Turn left belongs to this one, right? What about this one? True. True. Right. Turn. Turn. Get the blood. Uh, let me see. Yeah, it is hidden, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, turn right. It belongs to this one, right? Turn right. Then, what about this one? What about this one, people? What is the what the instruction for this? Hello, hello. Let me see the, the, the word. Uh, okay. <laughs> Next to take the second left, take, take the second right, round about, go, go past, go straight go. on, opposite, or traffic lights. Uh huh. Go past. Go past? All right, so you say go past, go past then. Okay, what about this one? Let me see. Let's see the, the vocabulary next to take the second left, take the second right, round about, go straight on, opposite or traffic light. Turn the second left. Take the second left. Uh -huh. All right. No okay. left. Left. That, this one. Take the second left. Left, yes. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I chose right, take the second right. Yeah, that's right. So this one is the one, right? Take the second left. Now, this is the opposite, right? Take the second right. Take the second right. What about this? Mm. Want to see vocabulary? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see. Mm. Next to, right about, go straight on, opposite, or traffic light. Traffic lights. Tiene que ser next to or, or go train on. Go straight on. No. Oh. Oh, next Let me see. see. Why don't we choose? Oh, okay, choose one, right? Don't tell me. I mean, choose only one. Next to or go straight on. Go straight on. Okay. Go, you see, go straight on. Okay. So it's up to you, right? Now, look at this. Then I have... Next to random opposite uh, traffic lights. Next to. Next to. I don't. I don't know. Okay, so this, we are we are guessing. Then <laughs> are we guessing? It's because now if we are guessing, it's very if we if we study, if we I mean if we if, if you can look for that for the internet there right. Now you say you say next to this one, right? It's a next yeah. to. Now what about this? Opposite. Is it opposite? What about this? Uh, is it the round the round about the roundabout? Round about and let us see. I think we yeah, can. I, I, uh, and what about this? Traffic light. These are traffic, traffic light. lights. Traffic lights. Hey, I think light. we committed a couple of mistakes. Okay. Hemos cometido un par de errores. Lo quieren revisar? No. 
Mm, vamos a ver. Ok, let's see. Uh, ok, let's see. It says, turn left. No, right. no problem. No problem. Ok, turn right. No problem. No problem. So, uh, go past. No problem. Are you sure? Uh... <laughs> next to. I was say next to, no, but I mean. Take the second no. left. No, no yeah, problem yeah. here. Correct. Correct. Uh, take the, the correct. second right. The Go straight on. I don't know. Yeah, it's because you need to you need to focus your your mind into this. Let's imagine that these are two buildings. Okay, give me a second. Let's imagine that these are two buildings. Okay, imagine the uh, Pollo Campero is over here and and uh, no, I, the I think, next two. Ah, uh, but okay. No, yes. The next two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's we said next two or next two, right? Next two belongs to this one, you say, right? So, but if we have next two there, what's going on with a uh, ghost radar? Why don't you why don't you look for for the meaning on on the internet? Uh huh. Ahí está. Yeah, you got it. Go straight. Go straight on. Ah, uh, es 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 este. Go past. <laughs> go instead of going past, then we need to we need yeah. to have go straight on this one, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Go straight on now. T the second mm -hmm. left, no problem. No problem. Let's see. T the second right. I think we, we did it. Next to, what about this one? I think, let's see the one that we have. Go past, no? No. Now, what would be like, you see, there are two buildings over here. One building here and the other building over here. And we have the street here. Go Traffic lights. Past. Let's go past. Where's where should be a uh, go past? Go past como como virar a la izquierda. Uh, did no. you look for? I uh, did you look for it. Go past. Now see the roundabout. It's all right. The traffic lights yes. are right. Yeah, yes. I I think we have problems only uh, between these two, right? Creo que es en in the la flechita. Go past? Yeah. So it means that we have the opposite here. Why don't we why don't we check it this way? Okay, something like that. Yes or no? Uh... Turn left, turn right, go straight on, take the second left. Take the second right next to opposite, go past and roundabout and traffic lights. Mm -hmm. So let us try and see if we if we did it. Now we're gonna we're gonna let me see. Wow, so you see, we got a hundred percent. Yeah, we yeah. did it. Okay, that was really good. And yesterday, it was really good. Okay, yesterday we were talking about actually we we have this exercise. Do you remember about this exercise? Yes or no? Do, yes. do you remember? Yeah, right. So we did it. Now we have different places in the city, right? Places such as, can you mention some places? Such as? Such as what? We have this. How do you say that? How do you pronounce that vocabulary? Such as? Hello, don't leave me alone in the class. Such as? 
You don't know how to say that word. Hospital. Hello, guys. Hello. Yeah, so, so how do you pronounce this? The hospital. Okay, so we have hospital, such as? Police station. Police station, such as? Supermarket. The supermarket. What about this? Bookshop. The bookshop. Oh, next one? The bus station. That's the bus station. All right, bus station there. Now, what about this one? Right here? Cinema. cinema. That's a cinema, right? This one? Theater. That's the theater, right? Theater. Theater. Uh, what about this one? Yeah. Underground under station. The under underground station. station. Then we have? Coffee. Coffee. The cafe. And? Italy restaurant, Italian restaurant. Italian restaurant. We also have shop. Shop. We have a shop, right? Uh, well, we were we were discussing. We were talking. Ah, we have more over here. What what else do we have here? Post office. The post office. Post office. Post office. office. And <coughs> library. The library. 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 Museum. The museum. museum. Yes, yeah. Factory and there's a factory over here, and also we were discussing about uh the the streets, right? This this is a King's Road, okay. This is a King's Road. We I'm have a, we have a, a roundabout over here, and we have the Green Street, and also we have uh, the Bond Street here, right? And we we heard the exercise, right? So we're not going to solve the exercise again, but I want you to remember about what, what we did yesterday. Okay, quite important for me to have some review just before going to the next part. Listen to it, please. A. Go straight on, then take the first left onto Green Street. Walk past the library, and it's the building next to the library on the left. B. Go straight on. Go past the traffic lights. You'll see a shop on the right. Go past that and it's on the right next to the shop. C. Go straight on. Go past the traffic lights and go straight on until you get to the roundabout. At the roundabout, turn left. Go past the theatre. It's the building next to the theatre, opposite the hospital. D. Go straight on, go past the traffic lights and take the second right onto King's Road. Go past the bookshop. It's the building next to the bookshop, opposite the cafe. This recording was brought to you by the British Council. No. To find others like it, visit www.britishcouncil.a.com. Okay, now you are going to tell me about the place that we had there, right? So, for example, in the first one, the person said, listen carefully. Go straight on, then take the first left onto Green Street. Okay, then. What do you listen to? Take the first or the second left from the from the street. Listen to it. It's because there is a key word over here. Walk past the library and it's the building next. Uh huh. To the library on the left. What is the place that she is talking about, people? In the number one. Listen to it again. It's because we, we have to get it. Okay, listen to it. Number A. one. Go straight on, then take the first left onto Green Street. 
Okay, go, you are over here, right? Go straight on and take the first left on the green street. Is this one? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so then the person says something else. Eat. Walk past the library and... And then the person says, walk past the library. And it's the building next to the library on the left. And there's the building next to the library on the left. What post, is that place? Post office. It is the post office. Now, I help you with the first one, okay? Now, you are going to yeah. tell me about the rest. Okay, people? Okay. Okay. So, let's move on with it with the next one, please. Now, remember about everything we have here. We have a cinema, we have a theater, we have a hospital, the police station, we have a supermarket, the bookshop, the bus station, the underground yeah. station, the cafe, the Italian restaurant. There's a shop over here. There's a museum and there's a factory. Okay, now try to try to get it, please. Number two. B. Go straight on. Go past the traffic lights. You'll see a shop on the right. Go past that and it's on the right next to the shop. Uh-huh. Where is that place? On the station. Uh-huh. Underground station. Exactly, it's the underground station. Okay, we're gonna listen again, but it's because I, I just want you to repeat what you listen to. Quiero que algunos de ustedes vayan repitiendo lo que escuchan, okay? Go straight on. Number two, or letter B. B. Go straight on. Uh, what do you listen Go to? Go straight on. Go straight on. Go past the traffic lights. Uh-huh. Past the traffic lights. Go past the traffic lights. Okay, it says, go straight on. Go and pass the traffic lights. Uh -huh. And then? You'll see a shop on the right. Uh-huh. You shop at the right. You'll see a shop on the right. Good. Go past that, and it's on the right next to the shop. Uh -huh. Go past that, and? Next to the row. <laughs> yeah, it's next to the shop, on the right, right? That is the underground station. Now, now let us see. See. Go straight on. Go past the traffic lights and uh -huh. go straight on. Go past the traffic lights. Go straight on until you get to the roundabout. At the roundabout, turn left. Go past the theater. Aha. Uh -huh. So we need we need to go straight on. Yes or no? Yes. Pass, or no. Yes. pass, pass yes. the traffic lights. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then we belly. get then we get to around the mouth. The, the mouth. roundabout. Right. So when we get to the roundabout, let's listen. It's the building next to the theater. Uh, there's a building that is next to the theater. Cinema. Ah, uh, it's the cinema, right? So we needed to when we get to the to the roundabout, we needed to go uh, uh, to take to take it to the left and uh, we're gonna get the cinema there right yeah good opposite the hospital uh, it, it says that's opposite to the hospital you see mm -hmm. opposite it's opposite mm -hmm. to the hospital and let me see i think that this is going to be the last one d d Go straight on, go past the traffic lights, and take the second right onto King's Road. Go past the bookshop. It's the building next to the bookshop opposite the cafe. Mm -hmm. Where is that? Italian restaurant. This recording was brought to you by the British Council. Is that the Italian restaurant? To find others like it, visit www.british. British, etc. Right? It is the Italian restaurant? Yeah. Yeah, it is, right? It says it's opposite to the bus station. Good. 
So was it difficult, easy, or difficult, easy? Uh, difficult. Don't tell me that. I think it was was really nice. I mean, you did a great job when solving it. Okay, yesterday we were talking about giving directions in English. And well, I have another exercise over here, but it's going to be like, um, yeah. I think this is one that, that we heard yesterday, right? This is the one we heard yesterday. You remember about this exercise? Yeah. We studied that yesterday. I mean, we, we saw this exercise yesterday. Okay, I will play it only once just for you to, just for you to remember, okay? We were talking about a church, a hotel, and all here was different because we were we were discovering the places by using numbers, okay? But let us, let us try to listen to it just, just to uh, reaffirm what we studied yesterday. We're not going to solve it. I, I only want you to listen to it. Hey, Renee, do you happen to know where the movie theater is downtown? The one near the hospital. Yeah, why do you want to know? Well, on Monday, I asked Jennifer out on a date for this coming Saturday night. Wow, you've really been seeing a lot of her lately. Sounds great. Okay, write down these directions so you don't get lost. Okay, go ahead. First, drive down First Street going west. Cross the river and keep going straight until Pine Street. Until Pine Street, right? Right. Then turn left, and the movie theater is the second building on the right. It's next to the church. Second building on the right. Got it. Right. Now, can you recommend any nice restaurants? Yeah, the Pink Flamingo serves excellent Spanish food. Well, where's that? Well, starting from the movie theater, go south on Pine Street, cross 2nd Street, and drive to 3rd Street. You'll see a parking lot on the left side of the street. Okay so far? A parking lot on the left. Okay. Then what? Okay. Then turn left on 3rd Street and drive east. The Pink Flamingo is the building just before the river on the left side. I think it's open weekdays from 10.30 in the morning to 11.30 at night, but it stays open until midnight on weekends. Okay. I think I've driven by there before. Oh, last thing. Where can I buy some flowers? We're going to out to celebrate Jennifer's birthday. Well, the only florist I know is in front of the stadium on 2nd Street. Try that one. Great. Thanks a lot. Great things a lot. Okay, so what's quite good? This is the exercise we saw yesterday, right? So just for you to remember. And I think we had, I mean, we had um we have had some review about yesterday's activities. Now, right now, coming back to what we have started here tonight, uh, well. There is uh, the conversation. Actually, you you said this conversation yesterday, right? And well, I I want some people to help me. Can can somebody help me to read, please? Can somebody help me to read this info, this conversation? I need a boy in a girl. Not everybody at the same time. I only need two people. Hello. Okay, so. Hello. Can you help me? There is the Melbourne building. I don't live here. Okay. Now, can can a lady help me with this part? Don't worry. There are for buildings, which one do you need? Which one do you need? Okay. Agri, Ag Agir told me to go to the building on the main street. All right. I know it. It is down the street on the left side. Good. Thank you. I have to ask something else. Is there a train center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between May and King Street. I saw. I I have. I have some interview there. 
Thank you again. Bye bye. Fantastic. Pretty cool. Okay, now I, I need I need to check the following because this is where we're going to start uh talking about tonight. These two uh simple expressions, they are, are very, very very useful. And they belong to the category of basic English, right? That's why you are over here. We're going to talk about there is and there are. That is our topic, okay? Yesterday, we were talking about giving direction, but, but before getting to that part, I remember that I told you uh, to describe um, the, the place you were, okay? Yesterday, I told you, right, to, to create like a map about about the place you work. Now, can you, or do you want to share the information you got yesterday? I wonder if there's a person who wants to share the homework for tonight. ¿Alguien le gustaría compartir el, el trabajo que hicieron ayer de respecto a, a la ubicación de su lugar de trabajo? Algunos yes, okay, 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 go ahead, please. Um, Andres, Carl Simmons, num five four, Urban Industrial, Santa Elena, Old Cuscatlan, La Libertad. Okay, thank you. Anybody else? Anybody else? Is there anybody else in the group? Only Jennifer. Okay, it would be really, really nice. If if you want to share it later, it would be really nice also. Okay, but we need to move on. We need to continue. Okay, there is and there are, right? That's what I told you, right? There is and there are. And, well, we were, we were also uh, talking about this one, right? You answered about this. Uh, how many Melbourne buildings are there? I don't remember exactly, but you you told me yesterday night, right? Where's the building? Uh, where will wants to go located? And how many training centers are there? And where are they? So yesterday we were talking about it, right? So tonight we're gonna go over these two expressions, right? There is that is used with singular nouns. And there are, there is used with plural nouns. There is and there are. And there are some examples here. Well, actually, this information you will gonna you, you can get it in the page 42. 42 people. So if, if you want to uh start working with me at the same time, simultaneously. And I have uh, there is there is uh an expression there's you with singular nouns. Example, can somebody help me to read? Can someone help me to read, please? Can somebody help me to read? There is an ATM across the street. There's an ATM across the street. I hope you are imagining where's the ATM. Oh. It's across the street. Second, please. Can somebody help me to read the second one? There is a recruitment center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. And First Avenue. Roosevelt Street. Okay. And now we are we are just noticing about the expression in an example, okay, in a sentence. There is a, there is an a, a, an ATM, and you see over here is contracted. It's the same as there is, but over here is contracted. There's a recruitment center, and we have it over here in the negative form. There's no, there's no, or there isn't, okay. We also have the plural form, okay? 
If you say there is and there are in Spanish, you will encounter that the same thing, right? Si dicen there is y there are en español, pues tiene el mismo significado, pero el uso es diferente. Uh, uno es con, sin, con nombres singulares y el otro es con nombres plurales. There are is with plural eh, nouns, okay? Plural nouns. And uh, there are a lot of... Uh, okay, can somebody help me to read this, please? Can somebody help me to read? So that we can move on. Anybody, yes, don't... I a there lot are, of companies down the street. Down the street. Thank you very much. Then we have the next one. Uh huh. There are some supermarkets on the right and left side of the street. There are some supermarkets on the right and left side of the street. Good. And the last one. The last one, please. There are now hospitals on Barrio Street. Okay, there are no hospital on Barrio Street. Uh, as you can see, this is this is not that difficult. But I, I have just um, looked for a PowerPoint that can clarify that a little bit or provide further information about this topic, okay? Uh, well, we're going to see it talking about the house, okay? Later, we're going to go over the exercises that, that I presented in the book. And finally, you are going to be in charge of describing what's in your uh, workplace by using there is and there are, you will see. Now, this is the one that I presented yesterday. Uh -huh. And it's not this one. This is the one. This is the one. Okay, now in order to have further information about what's going on with uh the reason there are, so we're gonna go over this part. Okay, let's try. Hope you see clearly there. Now I, I told you, right? The topic actually is, well, it's not that related to the one that we are discussing in the book. But what really matters to me on here is that you see uh, the way we use there is and there are. Now, what do you see in the pictures? What do you see? There is a lot, there are a lot of things over here. Uh-huh. We have, what, what do you see there? There is, I mean, one picture on the wall. How do you use uh, there is or there are? Me van a decir si es, se van a ocupar there is o there are. ¿Qué es lo que estamos viendo ahorita? Si ahí dice one picture on the wall, what is the structure that you need to use? One picture on the wall. There is or there are? Hello, hello, are you there? There is. There is one picture on the wall. Very good. One mirror on the fireplace. There is or there are? There is. There is, right? There is mm -hmm. one mirror on the fireplace. Now, a big TV, a big TV. There is or there are? There is. There is a big TV. Good. Now, what about this one? There is a, a fireplace. A fireplace. A fireplace. There are. There are or there is. How many do you see? Yeah. 
There is. There is. There's only one, right? It says there, there is. One lamp on the night table. There's one lamp. Uh, this is this one, right? There's one lamp on the uh, night table. Uh huh. There are. There is. There are. Yeah, because there is, because you don't have two or three, right? Then a rock on the floor. A rock on the floor. There is a rock on the floor. Good. Now, over here, give me one second, please. Yeah, let me see. <coughs> Sorry. As you can see over here, it says there are two bathrooms. Okay. This is the first one and this is the second one, right? In this bathroom, there is. There is what? There is a what, people, in this bathroom? There is a? White sink. A white sink. Now, uh -huh, one bathtub. There is or there are? There is or there are? There is. There is one there bathtub. Is. Good. And then we have a shower. One shower. There is. There is, there right? Is. One toilet. There, there, there is. is. Now let's there look is. over here. What about this one? A curtain. There is. There is a curtain. Is. We have a vase of flowers. There is. There is. There are. There, the, the, we say there are the, because we are counting the vase. We're not counting the flowers. Hey, there are. Yeah, now if I say one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine flowers. There are. And now now it's different, right? Because we're counting the flowers. Very good. Now one table. There is. There is one table. A rug on the floor. Flash. There are. It says a ah, rag on the floor. There is, right? Now, what else do we have over here? Let me see. There are many bathrooms. There are, it's because you see, many bathrooms uh, that we have over here. There, there's one over here. There's another one over here. Maybe it ha there are some others. Uh, there's another one. There's another one over here. Now, over here, we have a nurture. There, there is. There is. Very good. We also have a plant. There is. There, there is. is. We also have one bed. There is. There is. There is. We also have a, a, the, a, we also have two lamps. There the, are. There are, right? Now here we have a cupboard, a big cupboard. That is. There is a big cupboard. Then we also have one refrigerator. There is. there is. There is one refrigerator, one microwave. There is. There is. We have one. What is this? What? Ah, oh, that's a one cooker. cook. This is a cooker, right? Cooker. Yeah. There is. There is. There is. There is. We have a sink. There is. We also have a, a three million shares. Shares. There are. there are. There are. Very good. And that's it, right? So uh, uh, we have a, a big swimming pool where you can see the Z. There is or there are? There is or there are? There is. There is, right? Now, could you please describe one of these pictures? If you would like to visit me, please call me by. No, but listen. How do you describe this this room, people? This one. Uh -huh. How do you describe it? One. There is one table. There is one table. All right. Uh -huh. what, what else? There are four curtains. They have one, two, three. Okay, there are four curtains. What else? There is the plant. 
There is a one. Oh. There is a? The plant. There is a plant, right? Yeah. Good. What else? There is a, a door. Uh, there is a door. How many windows do you see? One, two, three, four. Uh -huh. There are four, uh, there are four the window. windows, right? Four the windows. Window. Yeah, there are four yeah. windows there. Now how many let me see. How many how many rocks do you see? There is only one, right? There is only one. Okay, now listen. Well, actually, I hope that you have a clearer idea about uh, there is and there are. There is and there are. Okay, now I will stop sharing because I need to move on with the, with the activity I told you in a book so that we can... Um, a uh, sub or or or, or clarifying any doubt about it by 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 um solving some exercises and I think that's clear right about there is and there are I hope it, it's clear now over here there is the exercise complete the exercises with there is or there are and a quantifier you know a quantifier is like the one we have here um uh, a lot of or some those are the ones that we have here and in the first one you know in the first one we have there is Oh, no, there is all right. You can contract it, right? So if if you can do it, you can contract. There's a marketing presentation. There's a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. Very good. There's a there's a there's a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. What about the second one? Can somebody help me with the second one? There are. Yeah, there are what? Some. Uh, all right. There are some. There are some. Business workshops. Perfect. 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 I really like that. It's a new topic, right? Now, over here, we have recruitment centers. Tell me what's the answer over here, please. There are not. Uh, all right. So it's because it's plural, right? Mm -hmm. There are no, there are no recruitment centers. Good. Number four. Number four, store on the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. And we there have are not. Uh, but it's a store, right? Is it plural or, or singular? Singular. So if it is singular? There is not. Ah, right. So there is no... There is no store in the street. Oops, on the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. Good. Let's go over the next. That's number five, banks behind the factory I work. Banks behind the factory I work. There are. Okay, there are. There are banks. Behind the factory, I work. Number one over here. I mean, it's, I think there's a mistake over here. There is. There's. 
There's a what? In a ransom building. For... Yeah, in a ransom building, right? In a ransom building around the corner. I think it's enough, right? And let me see. I think there, there are some others over here. Now you turn. Regular conversation with described places that are around the building use the grammar. No, but before going to this part, well, actually, we're, you're going to work in person. That is, I mean, we're going to go over it this way. But first, lo primero que van a hacer es describirnos su lugar de trabajo. ¿Qué es lo que hay ahí? Si hay muchos cuartos, si hay pocos cuartos, si los pueden contar, pues los cuentan. Eh, si hay diferentes secciones, pues nos dicen cuáles son. Um, etc. Right? So, si hay aire acondicionado, nos lo cuentan. Si no hay, pues nos cuentan que es difícil por el clima. Hoy que ya estamos entrando en, o que ya estamos en una temporada bastante calurosa. Bueno, nos cuentan lo que ustedes pues viven en sus lugares de trabajo. Y, por supuesto, nos describen cómo es utilizando tenis en general. ¿Cuánto tiempo necesitan para eso, eh, jóvenes? Ahora ustedes se van a colocar el tiempo. ¿Cuánto tiempo necesitan? ¿Invertimos 10 minutos? ¿10 minutos suficiente o menos? Wow. One hour. No. Yo, Carlos, that's impossible. <laughs> hey, Carlos, you, you really like to. to... <laughs> no. I, ah? Ten minutes. Ten, ten I think ten is enough, right? Diez minutos creo que es suficiente. Y si no es suficiente, pues por lo menos hacemos un buen adelante. Ok. Ten minutes, utilicen lo que ustedes necesiten, que tengan a la mano el internet, ya ustedes saben cómo trabajamos acá, ¿verdad? Pronunciación, si hay palabras nuevas, pues investiguenmelas en esos 10 minutos. All right, 10 minutes from now. Good luck, buena suerte. 10 minutos, recuerden que yo soy bastante puntual y pues ya cuando se acaban los... Yo me quedo acá pendiente. Ya cuando se quedan los sin, sin, sin tiempo, entonces yo ya vuelvo y este, empiezo a preguntar. ¿okay? Los quiero y que estén listos, por favor. Okay, los vemos en 10 minutos. Thank you. 
Okay, time's over. How was your job? How is it? Are you ready? Are you ready, people? Yo hice, pero no, no hice mucho. Aquí no estoy trabajando, coach. Este, pero sí puedo dar lo que hice ahorita. Okay, Jennifer, go ahead. That's what I want you to do. Go ahead, Jennifer. In my work, there is air condition. There are also computers. There are decks. We also have printers, print, uh, impresoras, printers. Solamente eso logré hacer ahorita. Okay, do me the favor to continue, Jennifer. Do me the favor to continue. Meanwhile, the rest of the people share their, their work, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay, Luis, go ahead. Uh, in my in my workplace, till is a security book. Your yeah, security book and office added a meeting room, three words, words and workshop area. And added for products and only for the a white. A white troop. That, that. That's it, Liz. Hey, remember, Liz, that's really good. Remember to use there is and there are. There is there are. and there are. So do me the favor to keep working in that, please. Fatima, did you get something? Fatima. Okay, no. Read? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. I I work in the mayor office. There are many offices. There are is conditioner. There are secretary. Yes, I'm sure. There is the workhouse and multi purposes room that's it good thank you carlos thank you carlos thank you very, very much anybody else henry Hello, teacher. Hello, okay. Henry. Go ahead. Um, bueno. In the office work, there are team office, offices. There is on for engineers. There are two for commun communication. There are for sure and the community facilitator. There is one for coordinators. There, there is some for a constant constants. There is some for direct director of operation. There is one for finance. No sé cómo se dice finanza, finance, no sé. <laughs> there is an auditorium. There are, there is a kitchen. There are things, thing doors. That was it, Henry? Yeah. Okay, now we'll give you a piece of advice. Now, if you didn't get the meaning of finances, okay, and then you are still having troubles with it, the solution for you is to go and get it. Okay, don't don't leave it like that. Hey, I don't know what finances are all about. No, I okay, so go and look for it. Okay. So I will give you two minutes to get it, Henry. 
Le voy a dar dos minutos para que busque el significado de finanzas, ¿ok? Cuando pasen esos dos minutos, okay. usted este, se va a dar cuenta que es mejor salir de la duda y aprender una nueva palabra que quedarnos con no sé. Ok, that's better if we look for it. Así que le doy un par de minutos, Henry, para que busque esa palabra. Let's see, hey, Gabriela. Jennifer Rivas. Evelyn said, okay. Juan Carlos. Hi, teacher. Uh, okay, Jennifer, go ahead. There are is a cool room. E there are as a table. There are a cheese glazer. Y dirás aire acondicionar. Ok, there is, there are. There no, is. Thank you. There is, there are. Remember, that's what we are um, putting into practice tonight. Thank you, Jennifer. Eh, Juan Carlos, Obed. Ladies. Daniel. Yes, teacher. Okay, ladies, go ahead, please. I work in the municipal mayor's office of La Union. In the building, there are several offices. Age all office also has various air conditioners. In addition, the employees have many work and office tools to carry out each function. There are several computers in each apartment. It also has Okay, lady, thank you, lady. Thank you very much. There is, there are. That's what we are uh, putting into practice. There is, there are. Daniel, thank you, lady. Oh, Daniel, Daniel. Well, if there is any other participant, okay, let's try to move on because we have to work a lot tonight. Well, Actually, you saw this this activity, right? The activity about uh, well, about uh, having a presentation of the place you work, and this this will be. We're gonna work in pairs, right? And you're gonna create a role play to the rest of the class based on the real place where you work. Okay, this is the second part of the activity, guys. Uh, you have like the introduction for your conversation and it may be like, hey, hello, hello, good evening, good evening. Uh, you know what? Well, I, I, I would really like to know about the place you work. What can you tell me about, about it? Tell me, where do you work? I work in, you say the name of the place you work. Uh, where is it? And then you provide location, okay? Uh, where do you work? Etc. Right. So over here you are going. You are going to be in church of creating a conversation, a role play about the place you work. Okay. Now I I think with the information you got uh, about the place, well, you may include there is and there are also. In parejas, vamos a crear parejas. Bueno, vamos a crear grupos de tres. En caso pues alguien tenga problemas de de eh, técnicos pues que, que no vayan a tener dificultades para quedarse para trabajar en, en la actividad van a crear una conversación ¿okay? basada en eh, utilizando la información real del lugar donde ustedes trabajan y por aquí les da ya como la, la entrada para empezar su conversación eh, por lo menos pues empezar con un saludo y de ahí pues darle pie a la conversación utilizando esto mismo. Pero si ustedes se fijan acá, 
Eh, tenemos las elipses o puntos sus suspensivos en inglés. Uh, y eso quiere decir que esto continúa. ¿Hasta dónde va a llegar? Bueno, hasta donde ustedes decidan con, pues, vamos a darles otros 10 minutos. ¿Les parece? ¿Está clara la, la, la actividad? Hello, hello. Eh, teacher, teacher eh, tiene que ser eh, con lo relacionado con lo que yo trabajo, o sea, en realidad. Exacto, exacto. Relacionado al lugar donde usted trabaja, donde está ubicado, este, eh, qué es lo que usted hace ahí, etc. Right? Puede incluir este, cualquier información que, que sea significativa para usted y este, pues que, que ayude a, a hacer una conversación amena en inglés. ¿Ok? Listo. Ya, yeah, so. Yeah. ¿En, ¿En qué página yeah. está, teacher? Uh, give, me, give me a second, please, because I didn't notice. I, I think it was number, number 42. Okay. It's the 42. Okay, so get ready. En caso, pues, hayan dificultades con, con algún aspecto técnico, pues no se detengan, ustedes sigan trabajando, ¿verdad? Eh, porque este, algunas veces alguien se desconecta uno un minuto, unos dos minutos y ya pues después hay que seguirle dando la actividad. Entonces tenemos diez minutos, diez. Creo que con diez minutos hacemos algo y algo bueno. Uh, well, I will share, uh, I will create the groups. Okay, I have, I have 13 participants. Uh, it will be, it may be four groups, three people. Okay, so let us go there. Vamos y trabajemos en eso. Here we go.
-huh. Después de que me contestas, me, me, me dices todo lo que hay en tu, en tu, en tu trabajo, okay. todo, tú me dices, and you, where do you work? Yo te, yo, te, yo te tengo que contestar. Okay. And you, where do you work? Uh -huh. Espérame, yo te lo leo. Bye, yo te... But the more principal. Hello, Jennifer. How are you? Hello, Carlos. Hello, Carlos. Very well. And you? Uh, great. Thank you. Tell me, tell me where do you work? In my work, there is a hay a condition there are also computers there are this we also uh, we also have pre pride no sé cómo se pronuncia printers Printer. printers we also uh, have well and a cafeteria we mm -hmm. also uh, have a break room a break room perdón Mm -hmm. And you, we are. Do you work? I work in the major offices of the union. There are many offices. There are air conditioner and this and this and there. There is warehouse. Y de ahí terminamos que yo, tú me dices, ok, gracias por la información. Yo te ok. Ok. Thank you. Thanks for information. Thanks, thanks, thanks for your information. Thanks for your information. Ahí está ya más o menos la Vaya, yo, yo, yo le, le iniciaría diciendo, hello, work. hello, how are you do, doing at work? What, what you do, you do. Y a usted me contesta, va, que trabaja en el área de lo que ella me dijo. Va. Y ahí usted me hace la pregunta, and where you do work? Yo le voy a contestar, we, we in work. The Albimbo in the Salvador, in the area of the trade marketing, in the commercial area. ¿Dónde está? Uh, Where is it? Eso yo le voy a preguntar, ¿verdad? Empiezo yo. O en, en, como en la primera es yo, ¿verdad? Sería yo. No, yo okay. le digo, hel, yo. Hello, Jessica. Tell me where do you work? Y usted me contesta, I work in Metro Centro. Ah, o sea, espérame. Y de ahí le vuelvo a preguntar, where is it? Where is it? Le hago la pregunta de... Eh, quiero ver. Where... Por, ¿Dónde uh, está? Where is it? 
donde entonces ahí usted va, me va a contestar en el B Iris es y pone el la segundo B verdad ajá el segundo B Iris, Iris. ajá Ahí me va a decir eh, eh, dónde se encuentra ubicado. Yes. Hello, Jennifer. How are you? Hello, Carlos. Very well. And you? And great. Thank you. Uh, tell me, where do you work? In my work, there is a, a conditioner. A conditioner. There are also computers. There are desks. We also have printers. We also have a microwave and a cafeteria. We also have a break room. And you, where do you work? I work in the major offices of the union. There are many offices and many computer. computer. There are printer, two bathroom, and any. There are there is. Uh, one una bodega, one warehouse. Thank you, Jennifer, for you. No, no. Thank you. No, eso tú me lo dices, verdad? Sí. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Thanks, thank you in your information, Carlos. You're welcome. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. See you. Ahí está. Para qué complicarse tanto. Sí. <risa> para que de repente lo sacan a uno y se queda en media. Ajá, uh ajá. -huh, uh -huh. Ve, ya lo van a sacar, ya no están sacando. Ah, oh, pues. Nos vemos pronto entonces. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, Jennifer. Hello. Hey. Hello, Luis. Yeah. Hey, are you ready with it, with your conversation? Yes, yes, I do. Hello, Jennifer. How are you doing? And no, what? but Liz, Liz, Liz. <laughs> Why? I can see that you're very excited, right? But let us let us let us provide some some seconds so that the rest of the people can can listen to you. 
let me see i only have a little two four six i don't know maybe people have some problems with with the internet or something okay but anyways i think it would be really nice if we start just now luis now yes go ahead uh, yes, teacher. Sorry. Uh, hello, hello, Jennifer. Uh, how how are you doing and work? Why? How do you do? Hello. In my hello. work. Hola. Hola, hola. Hello. 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 Uh, okay, I think we need to start again, Luis. I, I think we need to start again. Hello, hello, Jennifer. Hi. Hi. Well, Jennifer. <laughs> this is Jennifer, Jennifer Rivas. Rivas. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 hello, uh, hello, um, Jennifer Rivens. How are you doing? And work? What? How do you do? Hello, Luis. Very good. I work in tree production area. What do you work? Uh, yes, and uh, well, in my work at Bimbo El Salvador in the area of trade marketing, in the commercial area. Oh, yes. Is it three Marriott or area or three Lagoon Plan? Uh, yes, well, uh, I am in the plan of the Lagoon, in the commercial area. Yes. Very good. Very good, Jennifer Rivas. Okay, good call. You a pleasure. Yes. Thank you. Good. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Fantastic. Great conversation. Jennifer and Liz. That was quite good. Now, why don't we continue with Jennifer Hernandez? Okay. Yeah, Jennifer, who did you work with? In my work, there is I, I conditioning. I conditioning. There are also computers. There are desks. We also have printers. We also have a microwave and a cafeteria. We also have a break room. Okay, Jennifer. Jennifer. Uh, did Hello. you? Did you work in the conversation with Carlos? Yeah. Yes. Ah, okay. So, okay. Very good. So let's right. go over the conversation. Hey, actually, right. the, the the presentation you did is was good. Now let us move on to the conversation with Carlos Josue. Okay. Uh, all right. Hello, Jennifer. How are you? Hello, Carlos Portillo. Very well. And you? Yeah, great. Thank you. Tell me, where do you work? In my work, there is air conditioner. There are also computers. There are desks. We also have printers. We also have a microwave and a cafeteria. We also have a break a room. Tell me about your work. Um... I work in the my office, the union. There are many offices and many computer. There are printer. There are two bathroom. There is a warehouse. That's it. Thank you. In your information, Carlos. See you. You're welcome. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. Excellent. Very good, Carlos. Very good, Jennifer. Okay. Congrats. 
Let us listen to Henry. Henry, did you did you work with somebody? Giovanni. Teacher, uh, yo me quedé sin, sin, sin internet en ese momento, entonces luego entré y mis compañeras estaban trabajando. Uh, uh, who, who, Henry? Who were the ladies you saw working? ¿Quiénes eran las compañeras que estaban trabajando, Henry? Uh, quiero ver. Creo que era Lady. Ok, Lady. Y Jessica, si no me equivoco. Uh, ok, Lady and Jessica. Lady, are you ready? Ladies. Yes. Ok, so sí. let us listen to you. Ok, eh, Jessica. Hello, Jessica. Jessica, are you there? Let me see if Jessica is there. Uh, yeah, Jessica is there. Hola, hola. Okay. Oh, sí, aquí estoy. No, aquí yes. estoy. Hola, Les. Aquí estoy. Hola. Bueno, voy a comenzar. Hello, Jessica. Tell me. Hi, Levis. Where do you work? Hi, Levis. ¿Y Metro Centro? In Metro Centro. Okay. Where is it? In Boulevard de Heroes. Mm -hmm. And you work. And you work. And you work. I go mm -hmm. in. I work in mayor of the union. Mm. Yeah. Um. Yes. Sí, eso es, sería. Eso es verdad. Eso sería verdad. Sí. Okay, Levi. Bye bye. Okay, Jessica. Bye bye. Okay, ladies, that was really good. Okay, that was that was quite good. Okay, it's, it, when when you start interacting, well, uh, there's no other option but but learning. Okay, we need to practice uh, a little bit, um, or or at least more frequently, right? Now, is there any other couple that's missing over here? Is there anybody uh, is there anybody else missing? I, I I don't remember. Juan Carlos, did you did you participate? Well. Well, 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 well. Let's see what's going on here. Well, over yeah. here you have, tell me. Uh, yo lo hice, pero yo solo, porque como le digo, me quedé sin señal, entonces. Okay. Solo completé el ejercicio que estaba ahí en la página. Okay, do you want to share it? Yeah. Okay, so share eh, it now. Se lo voy a, a leer, o a decir, este, aunque como no es, donde yo trabajo la oficina no es un lugar así que haya como un punto bien exacto de referencia porque ni siquiera dice oficina pero ejemplo tell me where do you work I work on Olympic Avenue in front of Bank da Vivienda next to the Amway offices where is it it is on the corner opposite the blue bank. And you? Where do you work? Well, I work in a bank of Cuscatlan. Finish. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Yeah, something that I admire is that you were alone and that you should never give up. 
That's really nice. Uh, as you can see in here, well, we are asked to assess or self-assess our work again. Now, now I can ask and tell people about the places surrounding my workplace. So, uh, I don't know, but it all depends on the way you see it, right? If you do it independently, if you do it with occasional help, or if you do it by your own, it all depends on you. So, do me the favor to self-assess uh, your job. A teacher. Hello, Luis. Teacher, in whose an emergency uh, do to go bring my sister to uh, the hospital uh, and take her home. So oh. it only okay. go and list her is this time. Okay, Luis, I understand. So don't worry. Don't worry, Liz, okay? And I hope everything's all right. En español, ahorita iría como oyente en estos en estos minutos porque iría a traerla, que se vino a hacer consulta y no haya como irse. Okay, Luis, I understand, okay? Yes, yes, I am. Thank you. Okay, now, uh, let's see, let's start. Um, well, this is something that we're going to continue working on tomorrow. Okay, uh, les va a quedar de tarea que pues no vuelvan a revisar su presentación respecto al lugar donde trabajan y pues pulan esa presentación porque al no más entrar en la clase próxima lo vamos a lo vamos a ver de nuevo, ¿ok? Aquí hay algunas frases que ustedes pueden eh, poner en práctica o enriquecer su su presentación utilizando adjetivos como beautiful, comfortable, huge, etc. Right? So here we have, there's a beautiful lobby, there are comfortable rooms, there's a huge parking lot, uh, there are three high uh, tech elevators, and that's for Mr. Pass, right? Uh, or you can say also, or, or, or include new vocabulary such as narrow, there's a narrow reception area, there are two dirty dining rooms and there's an ugly photocopy center. There are small offices. And this is information about Mr. Aguilar. Okay, so uh, you are asked to, to, to make, I mean, to include some extra information on your presentation. And let's have a call to enrique your presentation with more vocabulary. Haciendo uso de todo lo que hemos, viniendo, eh, eh, hemos venido estudiando, perdón. Ok, con there is, there are, los, los uh, prepositions of place, inclusive las preposiciones de tiempo, ustedes la pueden incluir en su presentación. Pues deben de ser este, creativos y, e in, tratar de incluir todo lo que hemos venido estudiando. Esa es la idea para el día de mañana, ok. So there are some uh, sentences here that can help you to uh, to see or to have an idea about what I'm asking you to do. To include words such as, let me see if you got some new, new vocabulary right here. Meaning of the word beautiful, what's beautiful mean? The significa beautiful? Beautiful. Hermoso, hermoso. Bonito, hermoso. Now you have comfortable. Comfortable. Okay. Huge. Huge. Okay, if you don't know, look for it in your vocabulary, right? Huge. Enorme. Yeah, that's right. Huge is big, enormous. A high tech. High tech. Alta tecnología. Okay, high tech, that's, uh, that's the way it is. Narrow. What's narrow? 
Angosta. Okay, so we are talking about the, the reception area. Uh, dirty. Dirty or dirty. Sucia. Yeah. So the dining room, that's a dirty dining room. There are two dirty dining rooms. Ugly. Oh. Ew. Yeah, but that's what we're talking about the, the copy center, right? There's an ugly photocopy center that's ugly. There are small offices, you know, you see, you have some. Pequeña. Yeah, mm. so we have offices. And let's see. I think that's uh, that, right? Information again to see the answer to questions compared with the partner. We have some questions over here, right? How does Mr. Pass describe his workplace? Well, we're going to see this example uh, or these exercises tomorrow, right? So, But we're going to work by using our own uh, information. Now we'll check the list of attendance, okay? And meanwhile, I'll do so. You can work in the in the platform. Voy a pasar la lista. Okay, ya nos quedan 15 minutos. Mientras yo paso lista, ustedes resuelven el ejercicio de la plataforma. Mm -hmm. O los que tengan pendiente, en caso tengan pendientes. Ok. No, no, no. Yo ya terminé con eso, teacher. Have you finished? Yes. All right. So, pueden solo también. Solo lo del examen. Solo lo del examen me falta. No sé. Tengo que hacerlo hasta el viernes. Lo puedo hacer antes. No, lo pueden, lo pueden comenzar ahora. Y si ah. gustan, pero sí asegúrense de obtener un buen puntaje. Es, ese, okay. esa actividad ahí está. Y este, asegúrense que el, que El puntaje que va a aparecer ahí refleje justamente todo lo que hemos venido aprendiendo. Es importante que busquemos un, un buen puntaje ahí. Si es un 100%, pues mucho que mejor. Ok. Teacher. Uh, tell me. Hello, hello. Hello. Eh, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo podemos saber sobre nuestra nota del examen pasado, del the, examen pasado y cómo estamos con las actividades? De asistencia. Ok. Um, pues yo tengo eh, reflejado acá sus, mm. sus notas. Um, Um, let me see. Can Look you here. share the, the chat, teacher? Yeah, I can do so. Thank I will do it actually. Uh, but the problem is, lo que sí no puedo es como mostrar este, como los nombres, ¿verdad? De, la, de los puntajes, porque hay algunos, que, que algunas personas que pues todavía, la mayoría, claro, ¿verdad? Este, ha resuelto las actividades. Son pocas personas las que pues les hace falta alguna cosa por ahí. Pero la mayoría, pues, la nota más baja que yo estoy viendo acá de manera general es 8. Solo hay una, hay por ahí alguna persona que le hace falta alguna tarea, pero este promedio sí no hay todavía. Con el midterm, la nota más baja que yo puedo ver acá es un 8.5. Eso es con el midterm. Ok, uh, hay algunas personas que, que deberían o deben de revisar que todo esté bien, porque creo que si hay alguien que no lo ha, no lo ha hecho todavía, pues todavía es tiempo. Eh, teacher, eh, ahorita eh, venía medio escuchando, eh, este, 
eh, en lo personal, eh, lo, lo de la plataforma, casi todo lo he trabajado solamente eh, en, dos, en dos ejercicios, es que no sé por qué siempre me da error. Eh, creo que fue en el último que me estaba mencionando Edwin, que, que le pusiera junto el signo de interrogación. Lo hice, pero siempre me da, me da error. Luis Pero José, de ahí, sí, ya. Yes. Okay. La, la nota más baja que usted presenta acá fue pues, un, un 8 en sus actividades. Y en el midterm, pues, pues también obtuvo buen puntaje, 8.5. Este teacher, y, y yo le pregunté ayer sobre el mío y me dijo que ahora iba a, a ver. Jennifer, eso. Ah, yeah, Jennifer, Hernández. ayer actualicé. Jennifer Hernández. Bueno, pues ayúdenos con eso, teacher. Vaya, pues si ustedes quieren, si no hay problema en que yo diga sus notas acá, pues, pues entonces yo, yo se las digo. Jennifer Dígala, Hernández. Teacher. Jennifer Hernández, vaya. Tiene eh, de las cuatro tareas, las cuatro tiene con nota. Espérame, Jennifer, que no me voy a equivocar con una aquí. Sí, la, tiene tres actividades con nota 10. Quiero ver la, la uno. Vale, tiene las, las tres, las cuatro tareas las tiene con nota 10, Jennifer. Okay. El midterm. El midterm también lo tiene con 10. Ahorita es, no, no debo. No. Es que yo, yo, ajá, porque me metí a la plataforma para ver si me faltaba algo y iba a buscar, pero ya no encontré nada. Ni mi, mi, ¿cómo se llama? Mi, mi duda era esa, que hubiera algo más que yo no lo he encontrado, no lo pudiera hacer y no. me quedara así. No, Jennifer, Jennifer Madali, ¿no? Right? Sí, Madali. Ya, yeah. no, pues tiene chorreras de 10. <risa> <risa> Gracias. <risa> Ahí como dicen los hipótesis, chorreras de 10. <risa> Gracias. Vale, pues este por acá veo si quieren mencionar algunos que, 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 que sí veo que tienen dificultades para que pues traten de solventar esa situación. Que revisen, les voy a pedir que revisen. Por ejemplo, Denise, si está por ahí, Edgardo, Denise, Edgardo, va de la tarea 4. La debe Carlos Josué, Denise, prácticamente de la cuatro, casi todos que deben esa actividad. De la acti de ¿Cuál la es esa tarea, Lick? ¿Perdón? ¿Cuál es esa tarea? Es la tarea de la, de la semana cuatro, todas las de esta semana. ¿Verdad? Todas las actividades de esta semana, hay que irlas desarrollando. Pero las de la plataforma. Sí, sí. Ya las terminé. Ah, va, entonces. Ahora las terminé. Ahora las terminó, de acuerdo. Sí. Entonces, cuando actualice, le voy a volver a decir la nota. Quiero ver, hoy es, mar, hoy es martes, mañana miércoles, el jueves. El jueves les voy a, les voy a decir si, todo, si hay alguien que tenga alguna. No, el miércoles, perdón, perdón. Mañana, Quiero miércoles. Mañana, me, sí, mejor mañana les digo porque este, para, para que ustedes pues tengan tiempo para, para arreglar okay. cualquier cosa. Porque hasta la 20 está, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ajá, solo me falta prácticamente el, el, examen. el examen. A mí también, te echar eso me falta. Quisiera vale. saber yo. Ajá. El final, no, pero el final todavía no hay, no, no tengo este, notas porque pues la mayoría pues, no las ha terminado, ¿verdad? Pero ya de ahí de homework, si ya terminaron las actividades de la semana 4, pues entonces solo déjenme actualizarlas y ya pues les digo pronto. Porque tengo más que todo hasta la, hasta la tarea 3 que yo he actualizado acá. Luego va a haber este, un promedio de, de tareas y va a haber un promedio de... Bueno, ahí van a ver ya lo, todos los resultados. Con lo que sí me preocupa un poquito es que algunos de ustedes, pues, 
ustedes sabrán cuántas clases pues o cuántas horas eh, han faltado o, o se han desconectado por X motivo, porque eso también se lo va a tomar en cuenta el sistema. Y estoy viendo aquí que hay algunos de ustedes que han sido como que están, están, este, se les ha, se les ha marcado que han este, faltado o que solo se, se conectaron cierto tiempo a la sesión. Recuérdense que es un 80% mínimo y pues primero Dios que no enfrenten ninguna dificultad al respecto. Ah, uh, well, let me see. Mike, con la actividad de ahora lograron terminar. Voy con la asistencia. Voy con la asistencia de ahora. Ok. Presente. Carlos José. Denis. Edgardo. Present teacher. Edwin. Ellen Nilsson. Eh, Esperanza. Esperanza está enfermita. Evelyn Yanira. Present. Fátima Michel. Gabriela Jazmín. Present teacher. Henry Giovanni. Perdón, present teacher. Jennifer Guadalupe. Ahí soy Jennifer there. Juan Carlos Beltrán. Present teacher. Julio César. Carla María is there. Ladies is there. El Luis José okay. is there. Obed. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Wendy Carolina. Is Wendy there? William Aristides. Uh, Jennifer Hernández. Okay, Jessica Noemi. Present teacher. Okay, that's it. That's it. Okay, any question, any comment? How do you feel now that you are almost, uh, that you almost finished with your, with your basic level of English? ¿Cómo se sienten que ya están en su última semana de, de básico? Um, <laughs> ¿Cómo se sienten que ya están? Emocionado. Pues? Emocionados. Ok, ya por lo menos. Emocionados, este... que, que aunque sea un poquito. Sí, claro. Medio chapeteado, voy a, voy, a, voy a hablar inglés. Sí, claro, de hecho, pues es un paso, ¿verdad? El que ustedes van a dar para, para seguir avanzando. Les, les hago el, la sugerencia que si comenzaron con esto, que no lo vayan a soltar, se los. Se los digo por, por la experiencia así personal que yo he tenido respecto al aprendizaje del idioma y pues la verdad que pues a mí me ha abierto muchos, muchas puertas y me ha dado mucha satisfacción aprender un segundo idioma y pues además de eso pues ¿por qué no aprender otro idioma aparte del inglés verdad? Justamente ahora pues conocí a, a dos personas que visitan el país eh, dos señoritas de, de Suecia y este pues yo pensé que estaban hablando francés y les pregunté este en francés porque pues, pues hablo un poco francés y le pregunté que, que pues que, de qué lugar eran entonces no me comprendieron entonces ya luego les hablé en inglés y ahí sí me, me comprendieron y pues es muy bonito eh, más ahora que ya tenemos como más turistas en el país es, vieran qué, qué bien se siente uno interactuar con, con personas de otros lugares y, y, y saber que podemos derribar esa barrera del idioma, ¿verdad? Y, 
y poder interactuar con, con otras personas es algo muy, muy bonito. Um, también, pues, este, se dan oportunidades de viaje, se dan oportunidades de, de que quizás en una empresa, pues, lo asciendan a uno. Uh, en realidad lo mandan, pues, a capacitaciones. Pues, hay muchas, muchas ofertas, ¿verdad? Y, pues, si ya comenzaron con esto, pues, les, les animo a que no lo vayan a dejar, así que ha comenzado, como decimos, ¿verdad? Eh, sí, no sé una si... pregunta. Diga, Carlos. Eh, ¿La semana de vacaciones te, vamos a seguir clases o...? Pues eso se los van a, se los van a hacer llegar, eh, digamos, ya directamente al correo. Eh, no sí. sé si este, hasta el momento no sé si se le va a dar seguimiento. Me imagino yo que van a hacer una pausa. Me imagino, pero este, hay que estar pendiente. Hay que estar pendiente del correo, de los grupos. Ahí, pues, ahí se, ustedes se han fijado que la encargada del grupo ahí está muy pendiente de ustedes. Y seguramente cualquier cosa, notificación, ahí se los van a hacer llegar en, en su momento. Ok, gracias. Ok, Carlos. Teacher, una pregunta. Jennifer. Eh, en, en, mi, en la empresa, en mi trabajo, todavía no han vuelto a mandar la información para volverme a reinscribir en el curso, en el segundo módulo. ¿Hasta cuándo tengo para reinscribirme? Pero si usted aparece en listado, entiendo yo que usted ya está inscrita. O sea, ya no es necesario que manden la información. Se lo pidieron, se lo pidieron, uh, ¿quién se lo pidió? Clarice. Uh -huh. Ah, no, vaya, entonces, si ese lo ha solicitado, envíelo a la brevedad posible, ¿verdad? Porque, pues, para que no vaya a tener algún, algún contratiempo. Perdón. Okay. Ahí decía que teníamos hasta el 31 de este mes para enviar la información. Gracias, Henry. Es que por eso les digo, porque este, ellos envían información que yo no visualizo. ¿verdad? Entonces, este, a mí se me hace bien difícil este, decirles con certeza porque son, es información directamente que les envían a ustedes. Pero ya que Henry lo menciona, pues creo que ya tenemos certeza de que es hasta el 31. ¿Alguien más? Si no, pues, acuérdense que llevan tarea. ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál es la tarea? Eh, ¿Terminar la conversación laboral, teacher? No. Es este enriquecer su presentación respecto al lugar de trabajo. La presentación. Bueno, esa presentación pues hay que incluirle adjetivos que hay que de, describir a detalle como o sea el, el lugar en sí donde se ubica si hay pasillos amplios o si no si son delgados o cualquier detalle y va a ser importante el, en su presentación el día de mañana um, que vaya bien específico sí que vaya bien específico porque de esa manera usted investiga bueno y cómo se dice Angosto, ¿cómo se dice ancho? ¿Cómo se dice um, que está muy limpio, que el ambiente es muy, muy bueno? ¿Cómo se dice esto? ¿Cómo se dice lo otro? Entonces usted empieza a investigar. Yes, yes, gracias. Thank you, teacher. Ok, so, no esa es la tarea. Esa es, esa es la tarea. Uh, any, ¿Any other question? Si no hay más preguntas, pues, let's see tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night.